Happy Thursday, witches, and a very special Thursday today is, as this is the birthday of my amazing business partner, Shannon. Shannon, thank you for being a blessing to my life and my world and our business. I am grateful that you bless all parts of my life. Today's card poll is from our Witch Oracle card deck, written by Angie Sullins. Artwork is by Silas Tobal. Today's note from our Witch's Almanac is that the moon is in its first quarter and it is in Pisces. Siren of Surrender. This is a time to let go. Although underappreciated, there is power in surrender. A wise sage once advised, what we resist persists. While you may not yet see a new way to go, the old way is closed. Stop banging your head and your hands on a door that refuses to open. If it doesn't open, it's not your door. This is a moment to acknowledge what isn't working and what alternatives are not yet clear and surrender to that wide open field of no unknowing. A witch understands that there will be times when further action is simply wasted. Exerting more effort is futile and it's only going to bring frustration and discouragement. She knows that while society would encourage her to keep pushing, applauding her as she battles and bruises her way through the path, this is a patriarchal paradigm whose time has come to an end. Instead, she embraces flow, trusting when it leads her to a dead end that there is another way and it will open when it's ready to open. The days of white knuckle resiliency are over. Everything is happening for you, not to you. So let go of your original expectation and let yourself experience the generosity of flow. We are taught if you really want something, don't let go of it and do whatever you can. But what happens when that energy has run its course? What happens when the passion is gone? There is a wisdom of letting go what no longer is for you. Our card today is challenging us to look at what we are holding on to. That if we were to surrender it, we would be able to fly instead of crawl. 